Oh, hi, Internet. Welcome to Internet Roundup. That's Josh. I'm Chuck. We do the Stuff You Should Know podcast. And this is this week's best uh, and some weirdest of the net. It's like our clubhouse on the Internet. Of the web. Yeah. You say net or web? I, uh, I say Internet. Oh, okay. Not the net. Gotcha. I'm not Sandra Bullock. So uh, you found this neato thing that's sort of odd and creepy. Yeah, I found it on Reddit. I think on uh, the creepy subreddit uh-huh. on Reddit. Um, How and appropriate. Yeah, really. And uh, it's basically a series of stereoscopic images of a boogeyman visiting a little girl while she sleeps in the 1920s. Yeah. And the fact that it's in the 1920s and these costumes are just so poorly made. Yeah that it makes them exponentially creepier. But we were trying to figure out what these were, and they're stereoscopic images. So we looked that up a little bit, and we found this thing on SoBadSoGood.com. And um, it basically explained that in the 20s, there these things were all the rage. Like, yeah. remember viewfinders? Oh, yeah. So it was kind of like that, but they were two images that were slightly offset. Okay. And so when you were looking through a viewfinder, it had the appearance of 3D. Yeah. And so, you know, it was the 20s, and, and no, it took 18 weeks to cross the Atlantic, basically. Yeah, so this so, is high tech. Right. So if you could send one guy around the world to take images of... Um, you know, various monuments or whatever. You could sell a million of these things because people like to look through them. But this, this must have been extremely unsettling to see in 3D. Yeah, I think this is awesome. When you sent it to me, I was like, I don't know what this is, but I'm scared. Super creepy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, little furry costumes, little alien heads. Yeah. And this girl seems like she's having a great time. I'm sure it was much lighter in the room Until on the day. Until the end when she disappears. Oh, is that the creepiest one ever? Well, yeah. And the mom comes in and is like... Yeah, there she is. Yeah. All right. So uh, this could be cool framed on someone's wall, I imagine. Yeah. Or you could make it into a stereoscopic GIF. And if you want to see some around the world stereoscopic GIFs, go to um, So Bad, So Good and look up stereoscopic photography. Uh, That seems like something like modern hipsters would start doing again. They did. Did they? All right. Uh, All right, this next story, are we going to cover the uh, piano prodigy? Yeah, the poor piano prodigy, the three Ps, the the alliteration. (laughs) So this girl, her name is Avery Gagliano, and she is just turned 13, and she is beyond a piano prodigy. Yeah. She was selected out of 12 musicians, not of her age, but all musicians in the world to play uh, at an event in Munich, and she does a lot of this traveling, uh, so much so that her public school in D.C., we're going to turn her into a truant officer. Right. They weren't going to make her a truant officer. They were going to turn her over to a truant officer. Yeah. Right. And it's because she's been off doing all of this awesome stuff for, um, well, basically she's a music ambassador. Yeah. In addition to playing concerts. Yeah. And uh, she goes to or went to Alice Deal Middle School. And uh, they even bumped it up to the, the county level. And there were exceptions that could be made. And her parents had a plan of how to keep her schooled yeah. and uh, had planned this all out, and they still denied it, and we're going to turn her over to a truant officer, and which would mar her record forever. Right. And so they finally had no choice but to withdraw her from school altogether. Yeah. I mean, once they say, truant, truant, like, your life is over. Yeah. There's no future for you after you're labeled truant in the society. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even sure what a truant is. So I can understand the frustration of the parents if they're coming up with lesson plans and that yeah. kind of stuff, and the school's just not bending. And like you said, the school, by law, has the ability to interpret what's a truancy and what's not. Sure. And they're not giving this girl any room. And this Washington Post columnist who wrote this um, does a pretty good job of striking down any ex- any um, arguments against it. Yeah. Because she's saying, like, well, why make an exception for this girl if you're not going to for other kids? She goes, precisely. She said, there's this one girl who missed school. She's a homeless student in uh-huh. the D.C. school district. And she missed school, like, 30 times before anybody even noticed that she wasn't showing up to school. Wow. So if they're not paying attention across the board, why are they paying so much attention to this poor girl? Exactly. And if we are going to pay this much attention to this poor girl, well, then you should better apply that to the homeless students who need it even more. Yeah. So, so it's, it's basically a lose-lose situation. And exactly. L- like they could have had this girl uh, be like a shining star of the D.C. public school system, and instead she's being homeschooled, she misses her friends, and uh, I think they dropped the ball. Sounds a bit like it. I usually don't call things out like this, but D 
D.C. public school system, I say get your act together. Let I, her back in school. Yeah. You tell them, Chuck. <laughs> we need a stamp that says, get your act together. That's right. Uh, I have nothing else today, sir. That's it. That's the uh, internet roundup. We just rounded up the entire internet in just a few minutes. Yeah, so good luck to Avery Gagliano. You're going to have a great career, and you can thumb your nose at the public school system in D.C. for the rest of your life if you want. And good luck to the hipsters bringing back stereoscopic images. (laughs) That's right. We'll see you next week on Internet Roundup.